Hi everyone, welcome to Crafting with Cora. Today I want to show you how to create a mock-up in Cricut Design Space and kind of explain to you how mock-ups work. So I'm going to open up my Cricut Design Space. I'm going to upload a mock-up image that I already have. So I'm going to click Upload Image. And my image is already here, so I'm going to drag it over. So now you, cre you create your own images or you can purchase them on places like Etsy and you can have them for a bunch of different things. You can have them for frames, you can have them for doormats, you can have them for pants. Basically whatever you're looking for you'll be able to find if you don't want to create yourself. You can also create yourself. Um, so this person here used probably their flooring uh, or you can buy backdrops that have this kind of design and then you place your item flat on it and then you just take a picture. And then you save those on your computer and that's what you use to do your mock-up. So mock-ups give an idea of what exactly the product is going to look like without you having to add vinyl or do some sublimation on the item ahead of time. So there's three different options here for the image type. So if we go with simple, you'll see how the image kind of, you lose the, the, the seams here. If I go with moderately complex, you see there's a little bit more detail. And then if I go with complex, now you see all the shadings and you see here the seams of the shirt. So I'm going to click complex and click continue. Now this is where normally you would take your little eraser and kind of draw out what you didn't like. So we, But we don't want to do that since the image is exactly the way we want it. So we're going to click continue. And you want to make sure that you're saving as a print then cut image. So by saving as a print and cut, you're going to get the whole image. If you save as a cut image, you're just going to get a square. Make sure to name your image makes it a lot easier to find afterwards. So I'm going to click on the print then cut and then click save. So now because this picture is of an actual picture quality, uh, the file is a lot bigger so it's going to take a little bit longer to be able to upload it into your design space and it's going to take a little bit longer when you're uploading it to your project as well. So don't worry if it's taking a little bit of extra time, that's normal, the file is a bit bigger. So now that it's in my uploaded files, I can click on it and click insert image into my project. So because it's a picture file as well, it's going to show up a lot bigger than what we need. So once the image is uploaded, I'm just going to shrink it down to something that we can work with. So you see it's a little bit hard to work with because it's too big. So I'm just going to shrink that down. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to see what it would look like if I added an SVG on here. So I'm going to go into my uploads and I'm going to choose this first Easter SVG that I've got from Love SVG. And now, now if I put it like this, you see the image is straight, but the t-shirt's a little bit on an angle. So I want to make sure that it's matching the t-shirt the so that when the t-shirt's straight, my image isn't crooked. So what I do is I drag it to the bottom here, and I align it and see how here it's a little bit off. So now I'm just going to turn the image to match the angle of the shirt, and I'm going to bring it back up to where I want it. This is where you can make your design a lot bigger if, if you're not sure how big to make the shirt, or smaller if you want just a little something on a pocket, if there's a pocket on the shirt. So I'm going to make mine very big, but now it still looks like an image on top of another image. So what you want to do is you want to click on your picture, your SVG file, and click flatten in the bottom right corner. So this removes the black lining that is around all of the words. So I'm going to undo so you can see. See how there's a black line around all of the letters, the numbers, and even around the bunny? So that's where your cut line is. It's so you can see where exactly it's going to cut. But when you flatten it, it removes all those lines. So now it looks like the image is part of the shirt. So that's how you create a mock-up in Design Space. 
Now if you want to send this to somebody so you can, they can see what you've done, you can actually send this as a picture. If you want to send this picture to someone now so they can see what it looks like for your mock-up, I'm going to show you how to do that on a PC. So there's several ways of doing it, but I prefer this method. So you're going to locate on your keyboard itself, there should be a key that says print screen or imprimé écran, depending if your keyboard's French or English. So you find it on your keyboard, you click on it, and then I open up the Paint app. So this comes default on every PC computer. You click Control V, which is a paste, or you can right click and click paste, whichever method you prefer. And now it gives me my whole screen. So I don't want that, I just want this image right here. So I'm gonna go and select here. I'm gonna select the whole image. And then I'm gonna do Control C for a copy. I'm going to open up a new file because we don't need any of the extra stuff. We just want the picture. So we don't want to save any of that. Now I'm going to control V for paste, or you can right click and click paste. And I'm going to shrink this down to make it the size of the picture. And then you can just go ahead and save the picture and it's going to save it as a PNG and you can send it to someone for their approval or to see if they like the design that you've created or to post it on your Facebook page as ideas of what you what you could potentially be creating. So that's it for crafting with Cora. Thanks for checking out our video. Happy crafting.